Superannuation, obviously that will be a big topic of conversation going into the election next year. A collection of some of the world's leading scientists and economists has penned an open letter calling for a global moratorium on new coal mines. It argues that it makes both economic and scientific sense to stop building new coal mines. One of the signatories is Richard Dennis, who's the chief economist at the Australia Institute, and he joins me now by webcam from Paris. Richard Dennis, welcome. So this ad published today with dozens of signatories calls for coal export to be put on the agenda at Paris. Exactly what do you mean by that and what is the goal? Well, what's happening at Paris is uh, for 20 years now, governments have made promises about reducing emissions. So we, we, we talk about what comes out the exhaust pipe and uh, every couple of years we get together and we promise to reduce what comes out the exhaust pipe. We promise to reduce emissions. But since we first started these meetings back in the early 90s, global coal production has gone up by 50 per cent. So uh, what we're calling for, what the Nobel Prize winning economists and scientists are calling for is to say, look, in addition to talking about the emissions, could we please do something simple and talk about the actual production? Because uh, Australia is actually planning to build enormous new coal mines. As, as Malcolm Turnbull sets off to go to Paris, uh, he, he wants to build more coal mines in Australia. In fact, Australia plans to double coal exports in the coming decade. And uh, really, this letter is saying there's a fundamental inconsistency, there's a, there's a fundamental contradiction between a country saying we want to play our part in tackling climate change and we want to double coal exports. We, we, we need to start looking at the, the coal we're pouring in not just the emissions that pour out. Haven't you left it a bit late? Uh, no, I don't think so. Uh, you know, people have been talking about this for quite some time. Uh, uh, President Tong from Kiribati has called for this moratorium some months ago. Uh, Eleven Pacific Island nations have joined that call. Uh, we hope that during the Paris talks, more countries will become involved. But, but let's be clear, the Paris talks are, are not the last time world leaders will get together. Uh, and if, if as a result of uh, the work of President Tong and and, and the support of people as diverse as, as Nicholas Stern or, or former head of head of atmospheric science for, for NASA, James Hansen, uh, if, if these sort of people can't say, look, you need to put something else on the agenda, then, then who can? OK, Greg Hunt announced on Wednesday that Australia was on track to meet and beat the 2020 target. What do you make of the progress so far by Australia? Well, I think that's that's kind of the problem, isn't it? That countries are saying, look, we're, we're doing our bit, we're meeting our targets, and, and what the science tells us is that global emissions are rising. Uh, put simply, we, we haven't set ambitious targets, whether for Australia or for other countries. And, yeah, the irony is, yeah, we're meeting our target. Hooray! And climate change is actually getting worse, not better. So, uh, really, what we need to do is, is go back to the very beginning. The science tells us we need to burn less coal we need to burn less coal next year than we burnt this year. And until we start burning less coal, by definition, we can't reduce emissions. But it's, haven't, it's, governments it's like Australia got, it haven't, haven't governments like Australia got an argument now that they, uh, they say they've set the targets, they're meeting the targets and they're confident they're going to beat the targets, but now uh, critics are saying, oh, well, let's change the rules. Yeah, look, a government can say whatever it wants. What, what the science tells us is that climate change is getting worse, not better. What the science tells us is that emissions are rising, not going down. Uh, you're, you're making my point. There are people patting themselves on the back all around the mm. world saying, we're doing it. And what the science are telling us is we're getting worse. Things are getting worse. We're, we're causing more emissions, not less. So, no, Greg Hunt's perfectly correct to highlight that uh, he's doing what we said we'd do. Yep. as are people all around the world. But, and in, you know, that, it's... in that same speech, the press club here was making the point that uh, to date over two-thirds of those emissions reductions have come from landscape management, I think, which is kind of what you're referring to there. If the 2030 goal is to be achieved, can landscape management remain at such a large portion of reductions? No, no, what we have to do is stop burning as much coal. It's, it's really simple. Um, you know, if, if a doctor told you that you're overweight and you're eating too much, uh, you can tell yourself all you want, but if next time you go back and you hop on the scales, you weigh more, 
you're not getting healthier. Well, since we last met in Copenhagen or since we met in Kyoto or since we met in Rio back in 1992, every time we show up at these meetings, it's the same thing. We're, we're emitting more than we used to. Uh, the letter today, again, from Nobel Prize winning scientists, Nobel Prize winning economists, quite a diverse range of people with okay. experience and expertise say we need to do something simple. We okay. need to stop building we've got to leave new it coal there, mines. Richard Dennis, but thanks so much for talking to him. We'll probably catch up with you again during the, the uh, Paris Climate Talk. Look forward to it. Thank you. Okay, let's go to a media conference.